Hello and welcome back to Hearthstone and the Blackrock Mountain Adventure. My name's Lumen and right now it's time for the final heroic boss of the Blackrock Spire, Rend Blackhand. Turn around, mortal. You are testing powers you do not understand. I'm going to have to modify the Blackrock Priest yet again for this encounter. I mean, I'm obviously not going to use the same one that I just used for Dracoseth, because that would be suicide. I remember Rent Blackhand just being a really annoying fight. He has like a rushy, rushy type deck, and to counter it, I assume I gotta go for just a straight up anti aggro priest. I don't know if I remember how to do that, <laughs> honestly. Uh, he's got a lot of one hit point stuff. Shadowbox is pretty good for that kind of thing. I don't know how many Shadow of Deaths we need. Shadow Madness is great. Uh, the most important stuff would be the Holy Novas, Light Bomb, Cabal Shadow Priest. Fulgen's pretty okay. I, actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to use him though. And then I would say. Where's the Wild Pyromancer? I want him in there first. The Game Hunter. Ah, uh, uh, uh. He has that dragon, Gif or something. Anti aggro. Let's put some Death Lords in. Death Lords? Oh, that's not a Death Lord. Where are you, Death Lords? Mogushan Wardens. Oh, okay, so we can go for the one turn kill strat again. Yeah, that would be good. Honestly, I like that. Oh, abominations would be great. I'll put one uh, full. Shadowbox, you're out. Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> Sludge Belcher. Is that too expensive? That might be too expensive. Stampeding Kodos? That's a good idea. We don't have much on two. Yeah, this is gonna require a lot of reiteration. Dark Cultists. Wait, the Dark Cultists are actually pretty good. I am not against keeping them in. I got the one villains chosen, two Death Lords. The Organized Soul Priest Circle of Healing combo. Probably quite good to have. I've got the Wild Pyromancer, Light of the Naru, Power Wood Shield to go with that, Smite as well. I think I might remove Smite. Smite is the only card in here currently that's just like a one-hit wonder, and it might not even be that great, so let's instead of Smite maybe get the Divine Spirit in a fire combo going. But then, am I going to survive the early game aggro if I go for that? I might not, honestly. I just remember the whelps and then like the 3-1 or 4-1 drake or something or whatever it is that he summons. I can't remember. So what else can we put in? Oh. Does he have death rattle minions? Oh, mind control tech is great. Although, if I'm going to be wiping the board... Slightly less great, that's why I'll just put one in. Let's put a Defender of Argus in. Let's go with this. It's not the most amazing setup. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm probably going to have to change it again. But it should work for now. At least to test the waters. Kidnapping nice dragons. That's so mean. Corrupting good guys. That's fine. But the nice dragons part? Anduin unacceptable. Rend Blackhand! The light shall bring victory. Terrifying, tame. Better. I don't know why I've got villains chosen in there. For some reason, I'm just attracted to that card. I constantly want to put it in my deck. The wrong mountain. Even this orc knows you are doing it wrong! Oh, there are two twos now. That is... 
bad. Thank you. <laughs> this is not good. Look at that board. And look at the turn that we're on. Okay, unfortunately, if I play this now and lie to the Naru, it's like, not enough. It's just not. And I can't lie to the Naru then Circle of Helium because it's just, again, not enough. Now I'm gonna waste Light of the Naru. 5-4 Dragonkin. Oh man. Oh man. What? It's not good. I need another one mana spell. A Death Lord is, is not gonna help me. I don't even know if I should play the Death Lord, honestly. Death does not scare me. I really don't have a choice here, do I? Eight, eight, legendary gift. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's not great, is it? But that, that eight, eight right there, it's gonna be a problem. Uh, I can't even play this yet. Man, what do I do? Now, this kills everything. All this stuff just leaves the eight, eight in play. I think I should probably do it. Oh, but then the, the whelp as well. Oh, the whelp couldn't spawn because there was no space on the board. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I, I'm in trouble. <laughs> it, it needs to be said that I am in fact in trouble. So what can I do? He's holding the dragon. Well, that's not a surprise. Uh, okay. We can go for some pyromancer shenanigans now. I can actually... Velen's chosen on here and... Powerwood shield on there. Then I can clear everything, probably, except Gith again. So I'd need to put this one on the Gith. Which means I'll put the Velen's chosen on here. Is there potential to one-shot? Hold on. Before I even go any further. If I cast this now, that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 10 extra damage. 6, 12 extra damage. 7 is uh, 14 extra damage. It's not a one-shot, of course. But I mean, it's, it's a pretty decent amount, to be sure. Now, if I put that there, it's not a heal, of course. It'll keep her alive. Ah, uh, this is so unfortunate. This is so unfortunate. I... I messed that up. I mean, I can kill it now, of course. But... It's still just unfortunate. I needed the Pyromancer way earlier. Ah! Wow! This is good. I mean, I can actually Let take one of these now. It's a slight reprieve. I wield the power of black. Oh, I'm on two life. I'm alive. <laughs> okay. Uh, pretty great that I've got this here. Yeah, let's do that. It's fine. Let's play this, and let's heal myself. In the light's name. I can't believe I'm doing this. I no, I need to keep him alive. Obey. It's funny that I'm now stabilizing this far in, and I've got like no cards left here. He's sitting with nine. I'm dead. 
Everything's dead. There's no good play here, is there? How unfortunate. This deck seems like it could work. It's important to note that. And... What? I'm not dead, but I'm very close. Yeah, now I'm dead. Okay. So, what do I want to change? He's got a... A board that mostly consists of twos for the most part of the game, and then after that it's mostly fives. So I'm not sure if it's anything I need to change or if my my opener or my hand that I got at the start was just not great for this. Resurrect. Mind control tick. Uh Shadow Boxer. Some of these need to be removed. Definitely need another death. Is Thought Steel worth it here? Probably not. I don't think so. I actually like Holy Fire as well. Annoyotron? So, if I can make it to the point where I can start playing things like Sludge Belchers, which I did, I mean, there I was in the super late game already, then it might be worth it. They they could help out. Or something like a Sunwalker or whatever. Maybe I'll check the legendaries as well. Mm. Oh, Max now would be good. She's actually really good. You know what? One turn kill priest is good in this game because in this specific fight, as is probably Kalthazard, but one turn kill priest might be the solution. Seeing that if I can buff up things like the Death Lord, obviously Mike's now is also a nice target for that, although she's much later game, I should be able to just set up like a really big taunter, Lightwells. I think light balls are good. What do I remove for them? Villains chosen. Do we have enough spells? That's the question. Yeah, I think I do. I just don't know where I could fit the one turn kill stuff in. Maybe we remove one Warden because it's just average, and then we shove the Inner Fire in there, and then we remove one... Let's have a look. Dark Cultist. And put that in there instead, the other one. Divine Spirit. Even so, and then we put another one of those, and another one of those. Like that. Like that. That's okay, right? I think this is the best course to take. Do I need the Dark Cultist? Yeah, no, maybe not. Let's try that. It's again the kind of deck that if you get a bad opener, you're just gonna lose immediately. But I mean, that's the kind of stuff you need to use for these heroic bosses, unfortunately. I think we'll be okay. Anduin versus Rand I'm probably missing something really obvious that I could use. The light shall bring uh, Holy Nova. Like I, I like Holy Nova. Oh, this is nice. See, uh, Light of the Naru, he does six damage to you after turn one, which is pretty huge. If he coins out his hero ability. Oh, he didn't. He didn't. Okay, well that's... That's pretty good. 
What to do now? Uh, oh, okay, that's two, four, six, eight. This is what I need to do, right? He's gonna be able to kill my death lord. I could rather save the death lord and then double it on turn five. However, he's gonna summon a five four next turn. And turn five, I might want to save for Holy Nova. So, best plays here, I could potentially heal, attack, and then just pass. So I can heal here, attack, pass. But the Death Lord, oh man, the Death Lord is tempting. It will essentially clear this. But then I'm left with the the big one after that to deal with, and then I've only got the Northshire cleric. So I'm doing this. Right away. I wonder if he's gonna go all face. My work is paramount. Yes. I think he's gonna go face. Oh. He's not. Oh, that's such a pain. Okay, double holy nova is, is brilliant here. Now the Death Lord once again doesn't work. I can do this because I got two. Do it again. No. No, this is pretty okay. Ouch. That's not okay. Is he gonna go face with everything? Well, I think that's probably the best case scenario for me. Because now for Holy Nova, my Light Warden should get big enough to be able to kill that. And he should be able to kill that. Or, alternatively, I leave the 3-1 in play and I just put that there. Get the 7 damage straight through the face. Yeah, I'd just rather do that. Now what my worst case would be again is if he plays the Corruptor or something. I don't know what it's called. The thing that does 3 damage, the Fire Elemental type thing. Ah, but he didn't. Okay, so the 8-8 eight is all I have to deal with now. And this is something I can deal with because I can put down this and double its health. Death does not scare me. Now I'm saving Light of the Naru to heal the 216 up. I wonder what he's gonna do against this. Not much apparently. So this is gonna be great. If I Holy Nova off die light of the Naru. Oh, but I could actually even Now let's let's light of the Naru. Holy Nova. Or do we attack first? No, there's no reason to. We attack face, basically. Need some big heals on the Death Lord. It's gonna be a big problem if he can kill it soon. No! Oh! Dude. Oh, good. I needed one. Right, okay. Whew. That was lucky. That was so, so lucky. Now, how do I handle this? If I heal, then this will go up to seven. And then I can kill the Twilight Drake. Alternatively, I could play the Soul Priest and deal two here. But then I won't be able to heal, then I can put that there if I want. But then I won't be able to heal the Death Lord either. What's the play? 
I need to play for control. I think I'm at the point now where control is actually worth shooting for. So if I heal here, I can put it on there without it dying. And this will get big enough to kill that. And then there's still the... Yeah, let's go with this. Okay, we heal here. Okay, then we go for Shadow of Death over there, and we pass. <laughs> I don't know if that was good. I'm unsure. Okay, well, now I need Circle of Healing. Okay, so Shadow Madness can deal with both the two twos. Then I can play this as well. Four, eight, yeah, that's not enough. Maybe instead we just go with this. And we do two damage. Okay, wait, we go with this. We kill the two twos. Yeah, that's just going with this. That's the best idea. Okay, now I really need a spell. Any spell will be fine. Alright. It's gonna be enough. It's gonna make this a 7-7, which means it'll kill Anixia. But then we're gonna be left with those two. Okay, but if I... Uh, yeah, we're gonna leave the egg. Although, if I kill the egg now... Yeah, I should kill the egg now. Because then nothing will spawn. There we go. Put that there. This is rough. This is probably the most difficult one thus far. And it's a 9-9. Nine nine. Because of one life. One life. Okay, well... There's the combo that I wanted. It's not enough though. We are very much dead. So, I think I need to go even more one turn killish with the light wells again. The light wells were great. So, we're gonna do that right now. I've been getting a little bit unlucky with my draws though. A little bit. Not completely, just a little bit. So, putting the light wells back in, it just looks like it works. Light wells, the AI can't handle it. They don't realize the usefulness of light wells, and because of that, because they go unnoticed, one generally tends to do much better. I'm removing the soul priests. I'm doubling up on the light wells. The shadow of deaths are still essential. Morgushan Warden's good. I'm basically going back to the style that I had before, and I also think that, as suspected, well, Big Game Hunt is not so useful, but as suspected, the mind control tech is, it's important. Is that good? That should be it, right? Villain's Chosen could work. I mean, I wouldn't mind another mind control tech. But Villain's Chosen is maybe a good idea. Let's try to get a Villain's Chosen in here. Just not sure where I'm going to put it. I could take the Shadow Madness out. One circle of healing, maybe. Here we go. 
That's shadow form. Okay. The reason I like Villain's Chosen is because it it makes your your tanks much tankier. The taunters much meatier, and it's again a nice starting point for the one turn kill. Now with this guy specifically, he doesn't seem to have any like targeted minion destruction. The light shall bring victory. So, you get to hide a light well behind your other minions somehow, if it's- Oh, this is, again, okay. I don't know why it's always Light of the Noru. I keep getting Light of the Noru in every single open hand. That's... not a great start. My apologies. You're crazy, dude. Do I wanna... Do I wanna risk it? I don't know if it's worth risking it. No. I don't think it's worth risking it. It's probably a mistake. Oh, so for one mana he gets a 5-4. That's not fair. Now I need the mind control tick. Obviously. Do you like to play with fire? In the light's name. It's not amazing, but now what I can do is in the next turn I can at least Oh, this is gonna be bad. Is he gonna go face? I was gonna say in the next turn I can at least do really nice damage. And I think, again, that was the best case, him going face. Now I don't have any spells. That's typical. Is someone injured? Who do I heal? Myself. I have to heal a minion. And we're actually dead. Wow, that was the quickest loss ever. Mm. Maybe Mexna is not great. Not maybe, no, definitely. Mexna is definitely not great. And she's not the reason we lost here. Not at all, not in the least. Uh, but... She does... Uh, yeah, she doesn't do what I need her to do. The health... That the minions that he summons has is too low for her to be useful. So instead of her, what else is there with taunt? Unstable ghoul is pretty good. Hogger. Yeah, like hogger. Should I put hogger in? Hogger just always kills AI. Maybe he's the answer here. Let's go. I think we've got this. Now it's just a matter of getting a decent opening hand. I I want to say the most important cards to have would be Power Word Shield and the Lightwell. Just those two. Double Lightwell would be great. Oh, okay, and a Mind Control Tech is actually a good start as well. So, I dropped these two. Uh, it's nice having Kalthazard, but not this early. So I don't, I don't have high hopes for this run. Oh, there you go. It's slightly improved. This is nice because it allows me to cycle through at least a little bit. Orc knows you are doing it wrong. Yeah, this is okay. It depends on what I draw, of course. That's not great. Right away. What else is there? Ah! Uh, see if he uses this now. He's not going to, is he? Wow, the one time I actually want him to use his hero ability, he doesn't. What, what was that? Interesting.
It is a tough choice. I can make a really strong Death Lord soon. So we're gonna delay. We're gonna delay and we're gonna draw. Right away. Not saving that for the Death Lord. Mainly because it would take that one turn longer, and then I think I'll probably be dead by then. So now, if he doesn't do anything else, I'm sitting in such a good position. If that's all he does, I'm okay. Again? Okay, now... Is that really the best play? No, it's not. I think the best play is actually, funny enough, a light well. He might put that on the light well. I would be very unimpressed if he did. I can't play the Death Lord yet. So... Okay, what? This is still not going to work. I think it's going to have to be Mind Control Tech. But then I've got nothing to do with the one mana, so rather light well. I should have healed first. about that Death does not scare me okay <laughs> double mind control tech in the next turn could be really good I need to heal this guy now I really need light of the Naru or Hogger. Wow. Uh, but double mind control tech is too tempting. Engaging TC-130. Mental dislocator. Engaging TC-130. Mental dislocator. Thanks. Death. Couldn't I just have gotten those... Ah, uh, well at least it came out as a 6-6. Six, six. Now I need Holy Nova. Uh, that would be great. Thank you. Holy Nova plus this will be 3 to everything. Is that our best play here? Alternatively, we could... No, Holy Nova. So Holy Nova alone, on its own, is, is pretty decent, but I, I do think I need the Pyromancy in there. Three will kill this, it'll put that on one, it will allow me to put, but if I put two, then I need to put three, uh, three on there. Yeah, it has to happen, so, Pyromancer. Now he's going to play Revenge. I didn't want him to play Revenge. I, I want to get Hogger out in the next turn. Oh no, you know what I can get out in the next turn? Don't kill my light well. I can get KT out in the next turn. This is it. This is the turning point for me, I think. Actually... No, no, KT's better. Man, if this works out, I'll be so happy. This is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. It's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. I've won. There is no way he can beat me now. Absolutely no way. Now, I have the opportunity to shadow a death over there, and I gotta, I gotta take it. There's, there's no way I don't do that. Then, I can start setting up a taunt wall. Because no one's going to be able to get the one health minions if there's a taunt wall in the way. Or, I can just trade them into here and heal them up like that. Hogger's taunt wall. Then again, no Hogger's taunt wall. Let's go with that. Who are you? 
Oh, Kelf is up. They're pretty great. Now, they're gonna come back. Hogger's Taunter will come in. There's space for one more Taunter from Hogger. And then I think I've got... Which one is he? Oh, KT. Oh! Hogger. What? What was the chance of that happening? He just... Oh. If he had done it in the opposite order... Wow, here I am. Back with fewer prospects than I would have liked. Oh good, okay, this is nice. I think I still got it, there you go, that's it, it's done. If he doesn't kill the Mogushan Warden, I win in the next turn. Yeah, I win in the next turn, that's it, it's finished. Wow. Okay, so I got a little lucky, and I got a little unlucky too. Okay. A little unlucky too. Wait, do I win? Uh... Yeah, I got 19. Okay. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Look at double dragon's breath. Oh. Really? Like, destroy a legendary minion, double dragon's breath, and then he, he manages just to kill the hogger. Okay, Lord. You are messing with the wrong dragon. Uh, okay, well, there you go. Blackrock, Spire, Heroic, complete. That was pretty fun. I obviously really enjoyed Dracosaf. Omok was a little frustrating. Blackhand also a little frustrating, but they did now. They did now. Next, we're moving on to Blackwing Lair and then the Hidden Laboratory. It's going to be fun. So, let me know what you thought of the Black Ro Blackrock Spire heroic bosses. Did you enjoy them? I will again say Dracosath, best boss that I've seen in the game thus far. I enjoyed it more than the Unstable Portal Challenge just because it was slightly less random, slightly more fun. Great concept. Super excited to see what awaits us in the rest of the Black Rock Mountain. So you can check back here soon for that. Most importantly though, be defeating these guys and anger in Nefarian. Happy that.